Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, today we are going to do a simple project on SQL that is operation metric analysis okay so here we are going to do this project so basically this is the simple understanding of what the project is okay so what is operation analytics so it is the analysis done for the complete end-to-end -end operations of the company so with the help of this the company then finds the areas on which it must improve upon so you can also work closely with the ops team then support team marketing team etc and help them drive the meaningful insights okay so the next is uh, what is invest investigating metric spike so it is also an important part of operation analytics as being a data analyst uh, you must be able to understand uh, or make other teams understand questions like why is there a dip in daily engagement why have sales taken a dip etc so we will answer similar kind of questions with respect to uh, some database so we need to answer these four questions so basically uh, first we need to uh, understand the user engagement and to measure the activeness of the user then user growth uh, so with respect to the product how many users are growing then the weekly engagement to measure the activeness of the user and then email engagement okay so we have a platform here uh, which is known as uh, app.mode.com okay so once you uh, sign up to this so it is free you can go to app.mode.com and once you type this uh, so you will get into this kind of interface so you will have a name and then personal then my work so this will be the space where you will be doing a uh, different kind of operations here okay so as you can see uh, here i have done operation analysis on simple project so if you want to uh, work on a database like there are many inbuilt database like uh, there are available database here like there are many okay so once you click on that write sql query you will find uh, this kind of workspace here okay and on the uh, right side you will have this uh, mode public warehouse okay so this is for everyone so these are the different kind of databases here okay so you can any pick any one of this and you can uh, try okay so if you go to select a star from sales you can see uh, this kind of uh, table is there so if you go to tutorial that's uh, sales dot reps and if you run this uh, you will get a table with respect to this okay yeah so this is the table that is id first name last name email phone number and region id okay so this is the a sample database okay so but we are not using these database here for now so do explore this uh, this is a, a good playground you can see uh, where it has many databases to play around with and to explore okay so we will be using this so uh, there are three databases here basically uh, tutorial.yamo.users okay so uh, in short there are users database then events and emails okay so this is the database which i have run already in the days if i run selected let it run okay so it might take some time so uh, in in case of users uh, there are four columns so basically there is user id then when it is created at then company id then language then activated at and the state okay so you can see the state here that is active pending okay so uh, let's understand this one by one once you once we will do this but let's have a look on like all the databases or tables which we will be working on okay so let's uncomment this also so this is the events table so let's have a look on this events what are the events here okay so yeah so here in events there is also user id then in case of uh, created ad it is occurred at then event type is engagement and some other types may be there then event name whether uh, like login then like the message view in box etc okay then the location of the event that is japan netherlands etc and there is a device that is from which device they have logged in or taken the action okay so that is dell inspiration then iphone etc there might be some other so macbook air is there then yeah iphone 4 is there okay then user type is there that is user type 3 1 you can see the different types okay so these are the events so the next table is that is emails table so basically you will have the details of emails of the user so let's see what it is 
so here also you have user id then awkward at then action so whether uh, so there are some actions with respect to email that is email open then sent weekly digest then there might be some other actions also okay and there is a user type okay so uh, with respect to these data uh, tables we will perform uh, the operation analysis okay so the first uh, operation analysis is uh, this so basically let's comment this question part so calculate the weekly uh, user engagement okay so we will be using the events database here okay so let's understand what is the events here so when you can see the events database here uh, you can see the engagement is there then event name is there right so event type is then location is there device is there etc right so what we will do is to understand the uh, weekly user engagement uh, uh, we will have to extract uh, the week from this awkward act okay so we will be using an extract function here so if you uh, consider year here then it will extract year okay from awkward art is the column name and then uh, i'm uh, using an alias as week number okay and then i'm counting the distinct user id so basically user id may be repeated so we don't want the engagements which are repeated so we want the distinct engagements okay so i'm selecting uh, the week from uh, awkward art okay so because we want weekly engagement and then uh, i'm choosing the distinct user id from the events and then i'm grouping by week num okay so that is i'm grouping by this so if i run this uh, you will get an output that is uh, weekly user engagements with respect to this okay so this is a simple query uh, which you can understand so there is week number so week number is 18 and then 19 20 etc and then i'm getting the count of uh, user id that is 791 then 1244 1270 okay so this is the first query okay so the next one is a bit difficult and that is calculate uh, the user growth of the products okay so here we will be using uh, the database that is uh, sorry the table that is users okay so first uh, let's run this users here to understand what it is okay calculate the user growth it is saying for the product okay So as you can see there is user id then created at and then company id and then language activated at and state okay so we want the active users right yeah so we want the active users so what we will do is uh, with respect to the user product okay so we will select uh, first we will write this query that is select then we will extract week from activated at it is users right week from activated at what is activated yeah from here activated at then as week number then extract year from activated at okay and then uh, we will use distinct count of user id as active users from users okay and then we will use uh, the state where the user is active so you, as you can see the user is pending that means uh, he has not uh, completed the sign up process okay so the state is pending etc something like that and then the state where the user is active will be using this so then we will group by year num and week num that is uh, the number of year and week and then we will order by the same and from this query we will write a window function that is uh, like we will use this as a sub query and then uh, we will select week num and year num and then active users that is this uh, where is the active users yeah this one uh, so count of distinct user id is nothing but the active users okay and then uh, what we'll do is uh, we will uh, sum of active users we'll do the sum of active users uh, over order by uh, enum and week num rows between unbound preceding and current row that means uh, we will be doing commutative sum here so basically what we'll do is uh, it will add like 5378 plus 28 and we'll, it will give this result into this okay so 58 plus 28 uh, 51 plus 28 it will give into this this column in the okay so if i run this query you will understand it if i run it okay so basically you will get the user growth with respect to the uh, 
week number and year okay so here is the week number that is in the first week of 2013 uh, these are the active users 67 and in the second week of uh, 2013 these are the active users so 67 plus 29 it is adding and will get as 96 okay so 7 plus 9 is now 14 15 16 6 1 carry 6 to 8 plus 1 9 so 96 okay so these are the active users so basically uh, week number and then we'll get the cumulative sum so there are total of 9381 active users up till 2014 okay so this is how you get okay the active users so the next is uh, weekly engagement of uh, the uh, device engagement per device okay so for this we will be using our uh, events database or you can see the table so let's run this to understand what it is and then we will do click it So in case of events, you can see uh, we want the event type as engagement. So we'll be selecting the event type as engagement. And then we will be using similar uh, query like select. Then we will extract week from Okodat as week. And then we will select year from Okodat as year. Then we'll select also the device. So, so that we can get. And then count of distinct user ID as count from tutorial Amazon events. Okay. And then the event type is engagement. Then we are grouping by uh, week, year and device. And then same similarly, we are ordering by the three. Okay. So if I run this, so we will get uh, the weekly engagement of the device per device. Okay. So this is week 18 and the year 2014. So this is the extra one, but you can get this also. Okay. So the device is ASO as per desktop and the count is 10. So this is the number of uh, engagement of users uh, with respect to the week. Okay. So the next is uh, we, we need to calculate the email engagement matrix. So engagement matrix is nothing but uh, how many uh, users or we will get the matrix in case of numbers okay so like how much users have growth over the period how many emails sent have been opened something like that okay so we will be using uh active dot emails here okay so if i run this we'll get the emails table and then let's run it yeah. so we will have user id then action and user type so here you can see the action is of different types so there are two queries which you can run to understand what are the different types of action here so we'll select action from tutorial that yammer.emails and we will group by action here so this is the one type of query uh, we will you will get the what are the types of actions here okay so this is a simple query you may have the answer on it okay so if i run this we'll get this type of action so we have four types of action basically so email will open that means a user has opened the email and email click through is nothing but uh, in inside the email when you open it there might be some external links which will take you to some other websites so that is nothing but email click through okay and send weekly that is nothing but uh, if you are subscribed to any newsletter or some uh, products of flipkart or amazon you can see they will send you weekly email something like that right so that is uh, weekly digest and then uh, re-engagement emails is nothing but if you are inactive for certain period then the facebook might send you an email like you have uh, been inactive from uh, this kind of uh, things and you might want to see the your friend has been posted this kind of post so this is the re-engagement email uh, the some companies might send you okay so this is the other type of query like uh, you can use either of this to understand so we'll use distinct action from tutorial that hammer.emails okay so this will also give us uh, like uh, types of uh, different uh, actions okay so the next thing is uh, what we'll do is uh, how many actions are there with respect to the uh like a count of every action we will see okay so basically count star also you can use or count of action also you can use okay it will give the same so count of email open is 2459 then 90 10 is email click through okay so this is how uh, if you place action also here it will run okay so if i place action here and then it will also run okay so let's try to run this we will get the same result okay We will get the same result okay so now uh, we will understand the email matrix with respect to the uh, uh, with respect to emails okay so first we will do uh, like uh, we will uh, do the send in some separate like we will categorize email into different things that is sent that is email sent that means uh, we will write a case statement where uh, when action in sent weekly digest that is this and sent and re-engagement email that is this we will uh, consider it as email sent okay and then when action in email open that is this 
it will be email open only and email click through will be email click okay as email category we will choose like that from tutorial that ms okay so then we will select from this case statement everything and what we will do is we will get a sum that means the percentage of uh, case when email category is email open okay then one else zero that means we will choose email open category and we will divide it by email category that is sent okay as open rate that means how many uh, emails have been opened by the users overall email that is uh, rate of users uh, like the number of users or the rate of users that are opening the emails actually opening emails that means you are sending 2459 emails right so all the emails cannot be opened by the users some might be ignored right so we will be getting uh, actually how many emails have been opened with respect to the sent okay and then uh, similarly how many emails have been clicked with respect to this sent okay so that is the thing and then we will converting into percentage okay so if i run this query you will get a email matrix so let's run this yeah so here you can see open rate is 33.58 and click through rate is 14.78 okay so if you are not this Let's take it down because you might not be able to see this. So this is the uh, query, okay, with respect to the uh, engagement metrics of the emails. Okay, so uh, there might be some other questions which you yourself may have. Okay, so what you can do is uh, you can uh, try to understand the tables first, and then you can try to uh, get the get the insights which you have the doubts. Okay, so you can try to explore some other examples from the uh, web also or Google or Kaggle also and try to explore the operation analysis in detail. So there might be, there is another question like how many users have been retained weekly basis. So this is the example which you can try and uh, then you can uh, understand the operation analytics easily. Okay. So this is all about today guys like uh, we understood the operation analysis like some questions with respect to the business perspective. So I have not dragged it along uh, uh, very well. Okay so like i have not dragged it so in simple terms i have explained everything and it is straightforward okay so the queries are not that complicated uh, so you can uh, have a look on you can try to practice okay so hope you understood and learned something from this video so if you like this video do hit that subscribe button and until then take care bye, -bye.